Hello, love bugs this is Rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and um if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please you know drop me a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video just gives you an uplift that you know you truly can resonate with please go ahead and share i'll be greatly appreciated and with love and blessings i'm sending out love and protection towards your upliftment as always like i say my my channel my vibration my essence my image everything even in, in my uh spiritual signature everything is divinely protected highly loved and you know nothing can uh penetrate that so whatever you you know you come in here with bad vibes or juju you trying to place on me hey that goes right back to you times 10 20 times fold so is that what mine is going to be love blessings and healing and up, uh, upliftment of light that's coming towards your way uh the video i'm doing today is like your uh, unif uh, universe uh because you have you done struck a nerve men and black technique no longer works you're remembering everything you know it's just like like i say when it's something that you know based off a fictional uh situation there's some kind of line of truth there when it's based off a true uh situation like when it comes to movies or stories there's some kind of line of fiction there uh ooh, like as soon as i said that, i had chills um you know going through certain situations um where it was like we're all i don't know if you've ever seen that that uh post has been said you know we're all uh uh spiritual beings with amnesia and we're gods that you know we're gods that have gone through amnesia um which is true you know you there's some part of yourself that before you got here they, they showed you everything that was going to go on into your life but you know they left some little tidbits out you know they, you had you didn't read total fine print on what you were signing on and there will be certain things that you know you're doing um that will be a deja vu moment like why do i feel like i know how this is already going to unfold even though things are being hectic for me there's some parts of myself that knows that everything is going to be fine um i know that i'm on the right path when i start doing this this that and the third you know and all these different things and you're starting to know the more the further you get down the situation the more you're starting to remember and the more you're starting to remember the more of the things that you know you know the darkness and evil and enemies and minions and stuff is trying to make you forget you know like i tell people you know i was just saying in the first video about the different signs where you know darkness is trying to you know uh manipulate the order of god's plan you know that's going on they're really trying to do that you know you see different things that's going on in the world and you know it goes far deeper than that you know there's just certain things that you know where even it can kind of scare you to even speak up like man this just don't sound right it's like even when you hear certain deaths that's going on in the world you know you hear about somebody who just you know took their self you know out of the essence like i said you know like oh boy say i forgot what his name is off of tiktok you know you you don't found out what god's wi-fi is you know and you're doing that or the devil's wi-fi you know you're going through these different things because you don't stumbled up on something and when you you're not going through that little technique of the men in black anybody ever seen the movie men in black with will smith and um uh, uh what, what's his name tommy god dog tommy what is oh my god i forgot what his last name is um and god forgive me because i really love his character on a lot of things that he's done i was like i'll say tommy davidson but that's not tommy davidson but uh tommy lee something tommy lee think something i don't know but anyway uh he he was on there and um and then they tell you hey you know see this little thing right here look at this black light you know look at this red light hey you did this this and this and that okay and this you know forgot everything and it's like your mind has been glitched out so many daggone times you be wondering why you know we, we be acting the way we are because they don't put so many different things and you'll notice that because a lot of us as empaths you have a lot of head injuries like with mine you know i got hit in the head with a nail when i was like about five or six years old my cousin hit me in the head with a rusty nail i should have died because that mess hit me right in the temple died for a few minutes and came right back you know been in a, you know car accidents i've been in the fights you know different stuff i've been hitting the head with different things you know and be wondering why there'll be certain things will be sketchy it'll be certain things that you know it sometimes those got triggered or you even had been that type of person that had uh epileptic uh empathic epileptic seizures you know you went through a certain uh, amount of those you know um 
I know I had mine since like 25, 26 years old. It was just like it brought on to a storm. You know, it's just like as powerful as your impact, you know, your impact vibrations is. You can even change weather, you know, th different things. It's like you can be on fire like, man, I'm hot like fire today. Next, you know, it feel like, you know, hotter than the devil's toenails outside. Then you get real mad and you, you know, you acting cold towards different people. It can get colder than the artist's ass outside. Or, it, you know, you feeling, you know, gloomy today and all of a sudden it starts raining. And those are different things that's coming out where you're having a lot of these deja vu moments. Like, there'll be certain times I'll do something. I'm like, wow, why does it feel like I've done this before? And, you know, you're going through so many uploads. You're going through so many down, you know, uh, not uploads, upgrades, downloads. You know, hey, okay, situation went straight dyslexic for a minute. Even have that, <laughs> you know, um, and all these different things. And you're noticing different things. Or it'll be certain things that you know how it's going to fall out. Like, you, you can watch a movie, and it's not, not saying, like, oh, it's so obvious how this is going to happen. There'll be different things where you'll fold out. I'm like, Dad, have you seen this before? Actually, what scares me? No, I haven't. You know, look at you like, you know, sometimes it'll be creepy where people don't even want to be, really be around me because certain things will pop off. And it'll be just like, Rosalind, you said that. You know, it happened. You know, I've be, even been here on videos where I predict certain things that may not happen for a couple of days or a couple of months or even a year or two. And they don't end up happening later if it's something that dramatic and like, oh my God, she called it. She said it. This and this and that. And you're going through these different things because the strict triggering you you know it was just like they wanted you to forget because you had to learn everything from anew you know and it was just like because when we were you know we were back you know back in whatever where we were you know we were badasses like oh shoot i got that you know all i gotta heal and change the world and you know and all i gotta do is just you know resonate with what truly yearns for my my spirit my soul my connection and i have to allow myself to you know release what no longer serves me okay you know forgive the unforgivable no problem okay but you know you gotta you, you know I need you to look at this real quick. Okay, what is that? Where am I at? Why am I here? You know this. You know you coming out of somebody's butt. You know, ah! you know, looking like a daggone spider monkey or something like that. And you really upset. Now I'm just wondering why those babies be coming out like that because you remember. You know, like wait a minute, you didn't tell me I'm about to be going through this now. You remember. And that's why I be really be looking at them babies like they told you all this and now you being birthed out, like you forgot. You know, different things like that. They'll, they'll be just saying how babies don't remember this, baby don't remember that. I'm here to tell you that's a lie. I remember how I was when I was with my mom. I remember certain things that would be said. Certain things that happened on a prior life. If it wasn't time for me to come out on that life, it came out on the next life. I was able to know about those different things. People were like, oh, babies won't remember that. You'd be surprised at certain things that really impact babies. You, you, They wouldn't know. It'll come out to fragment it, but you'll know exactly what they're talking about. Like, how would you know that? You know, different things. You know, I would watch different um, the conspiracy theories about how babies remember their prior life and not realizing, like, these major birthmarks you have on your body is probably most likely from how your demise happened from the last life that you were in. You know, how you got different scars. You don't know how that happened, but it'll be certain things you'll remember from a life prior before that. And all these different things is coming on. So you really you're really upsetting darkness because they don't like the fact that you're starting to remember a lot more that's why it'd be different times you go from different rooms and you don't remember certain things it could be it could be two of the different things or both of them at the same time you're upgrading and you're you're recognizing your power and you don't just catapult into another one because we don't realize and it, it'll be just like for god just to be able to show an aha moment with us just being able to show you you know a lot of times how they say you don't realize how loved you are just by how many things that we have protected you from or you don't realize how strong you are just by all the things you have overcome until you allow yourself to look at all the, the things that was sent to take you out but yet you still overcome those type of situations different things you figure like this is going to be it for me I can't take anymore and then some kind of way you were delivered from those different things and it'll make you look back at it and all those things that's taking place into your life it will bring some kind of memory like look at how loved you are look how how things have really turned out for the better for you even when things were sent to destroy you look at how many things was supposed to be able to take you out but yet you're still that breathing walking testament 
of your own testimony. It's like it may be the testament of the T, but this is your testimony. These are the different things that you're using within your life that's going to upgrade so many other people. You are going to be that walking proof that anything that is sent to be impossible is going to be possible within you. And I always tell people that you don't know how inspiring your, your situation can be to inspire other people. You really don't. And these are different things that are making a change of events for you that is happening in so many powerful ways. You know, we go through our ups, we go through our downs, we go through things that really trigger us. It go, we go through things that really, you know, shake us to the core or really gets up under our skin where we're trying to really understand why these things are going on. And, you you know, you've got that madness of sadness that goes on into your life and you're still trying to bring joy into the world. Even when life has really not showed you that within yourself, you know, and that's what makes it powerful with you, you know, and when you're doing that, I mean, that really disrupts the devil, you really do, and I'll be like, ha ha, kick rocks without socks, you know, sucker, you know, <laughs> you know, ugly, you know, I'll be going off on the devil, but it'll be just different things that's coming into your life. Where you can really look back when you really get time to yourself. You know, you may be going through different things in your life right now that is really shaking you. You know, it's really, it's really taking a, a mirror of patience. And it's just like with that word, that is such a curse word to me. Eventually, you know, around the corner, trust the process, That those are fighting words to me. But then when I allow myself to see that, they were like, well, you had patience. Hell, did I have a choice? You know what I mean? Looking like I had no other choice but to be patient. It wasn't like, because if it was me, oh, I would have been cutting corners real quick. I would have bent that corner real quick. But then it's just like when I allow myself to really look at it, when I'm not allowing my emotions and my feelings to get the best of me, I get grateful for those things. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't see how, how I'm just like resilient right now. Just going, you know, hungry just for me to be able to heal. Just be able to have that strength that nobody can't take from me. You know, it, it'll be just so many different things you've been robbed of. Your innocence, you know, your memories, you know. Uh, different things that clouded your judgment like trauma you know make you second guess yourself make you not want to be you know make you want to play small all those different things you know you are you're making that men in black technique really i mean it's irritating the button out of whatever it is that is trying to hold you back but trust me you it, it's just like we don't get into that point where you gonna look at that situation that led to resistance where it, it took your patience made you not want to believe in yourself make you not have faith in god or yourself you know just 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 and being patient on top of patient and you're like man i want to hear that i'm ready to have my stuff right now i want it yesterday matter of fact i want it microwave to me two seconds ago you know and it'll be just like i'm trust you trust me when you understand when God opens that door for you, when he leads you down that red carpet, you won't understand why he made you wait. You won't understand why he allowed you to see the true intentions of people that was in your life that you thought they loved you and thought that was there for you. That truly wasn't all those different things. Why he made, you know, why he didn't open certain doors for you, why he locked certain doors from you, why he made sure that you didn't turn around and go back to things because that was easier for you to do all those different things. So trust and believe you are moving in your purpose. Even when you may not feel it you are moving in your purpose when you allow yourself to take day by day take day by day even if it's just like you feeling in your emotions and you just got to tell god i really don't have nothing to be grateful for because i'm tired of this mess you put me through but i'm gonna give you your praises because there are certain things i need to get out of my understanding and be up on yours and you being that i'm grateful for you to be able to bring breath into my lungs being able to be able to see here have me in my right mind even though that mess would be you know it'd be conflicting at times i'm giving you that and God was like, that's all you needed to do for me today. I know you may be mad at me, and I understand that. You have every right to be because you really are not understanding the, the, the ways I'm taking you to. But you, it's going to make sense to you one day. It's going to make sense to you one day. And believe, when you're allowing yourself to do that, and you know things, you, you're doing the best you possibly can. You're not making excuses up, but you're doing the best that you possibly can. You know, even when a lot of times where things, it's hard for you, you know, even when it's, hard for you to take that corrective criticism you're still allowing yourself to say you know what that's true even though that really kind of like put me in my feelings you being right you know and that's letting you know you're allowing change to take place you're allowing yourself to uplift that that vibe that veil 
because you get veil snatched off left and right and that message you know and that's why it feels so uncomfortable uh with us going through the things that we're going through and we really have to be able to face that so it's like when you're going through these different things understand that's happening for a reason hold on y'all real quick i gotta plug my stuff in because this is about to go die my bad about us had dodd i said my battery's about to go dead but anyways um you know you're going through many different things that you may not understand where where god is taking you to where universe is really guiding you at but it's just like when you're allowing yourself to be the better person you were five minutes ago being able to correct and redirect yourself even when things are giving you a setback things is coming at you like left and right left and right left and right and you you know you're like god i'm really trying but the more i tell you give you graces and stuff like that the more stuff you keep putting on me and then you have to understand i tell people all the time you have to understand god and devil work hand in hand but they got two different you know incentives and got two different agendas on the reason why those things are happening the devil knows that you coming close to something that he don't want you to have because it's just like whatever god doors that God got open for you it's going to show where God has worked wonders in your life where God has showed where he has had your back where God was all dripped on you you dripping in God all right there and the devil don't want that devil does not want that he does he is he is so jealous of God like that so he will do all he can to be able to disrupt to make you think that God don't have your back. He'll make you think that God does not have nothing for you. He playing you. He he lying to you. All this and this and that. He'll do that. But God will put these in there so he'll line you up with the things that he know that is that's there for you. I want you to see that I, I'm, 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 I'm rising you up. Like I have this and this for you, but you are all in this right here. And it's always been there for you, but you had to put yourself in direct alignment so you can be able to open that door. That door was waiting for you. Not you waiting for that door, but that door was waiting for you. And when you're doing that, you're getting out of that man in, man in black, you know, incentive. You're getting out of that vibration of where everything was forgotten. You had to forget to, re, you know, you push that restart button on your life. Because if you, you walked into this world, you really wouldn't have, you, you it would be like you're teaching yourself but you're not helping teach others you know we're all doing that by that because everybody like Rosa, how you know what i'm going through we all going through the same thing you go except it's in different scenarios you're going through something that it, it could have been really messed up because i mean there's a very few a short few and i'm not saying there's not a lot of them out there but i haven't met a lot of people like that where you didn't have to go through an abusive state of mind you know you weren't addicted to some kind of drugs or drinking or your family wasn't exposed to some kind of toxicity that really made you look at people in your life in the world differently you know you had to go through some stuff where you disconnected from that life to create a whole new one knowing what you deserve knowing what love that you can guide towards that there's something so much better than the things that you become attracted to the different things that you allowed yourself to cater to you know you can forgive the unforgivable different things that really done took you out you know really made you want to go new jersey headhunter on a lot of people in your life that really just done messed you up you know and you're allowing yourself to let that go you know there's a lot of different things that we're facing right now but it's just in different scenarios we're, we're allowing ourselves to heal we're letting go of the old to bring in the new we're allowing ourselves to step into our new us and let go of the old but appreciate all those different things that that has unfolded in our lives the different things that you know has really taken place and so for all those things that really have happened you know it, it's gonna have the highs and lows the joys the cries the sorrows and all this different stuff but then it's just like you're understanding i had to forget this to remember this i had to let go of this so i can open this i had to close that to walk through this you know i had to let go of this and forgive so i can honor this you know and it's always some kind of sacrifice that we're doing and that's what is making the devil mad because you're starting to remember a lot of things that was that was proven that they will no longer be remembered so congratulate yourself for that so i hope you were able to resonate with the con concept of the video and i would love to give a post notification shout out to uh uh let me see let me see let me see we gave uh um tammy much love to you as well fair hazard and mighty midget much love to you as well if you're new to my channel please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me i leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking you know being able to know each other on a deeper you know metaphysical level spiritual level soulful level you know we're all soul family and just being able to be a part of a collective that we can really 
you know, uh, vibe off of that. Like, Dad, we got so much in common, and there's so many people that recognize the things that I've gone through and understand the craziness of confusion I'm trying to make clarity out of. And just being able to do that, I feel like it's so beautiful. It's like a student teacher situation. And it's really good to be able to connect with y'all on that level of that. And, you know, just being able to help out or just there's different things that you may want to shed light on and you just want somebody else to have an inside of that. You know, like I said, I'm a, um, uh, sometime soon I'm going to head and start uh, back my uh, chat, you know, my live chat. I've been doing those things out for a while and I really miss it, but it's been so crazy lately. So I'm just trying to see when Universe wants me to open that door back to that because I've been doing so many different projects and stuff. So I've been working on those, so I haven't had time to. But sometime soon, I should be able to start that back because I really love interacting with y'all. It was so, you know, so, so fun the last couple of times that I was able to connect with y'all on that level. And just being able to interact with y'all is truly a blessing. So I really do miss that. I miss y'all. And I love y'all so much for that. But, you know, just being able to connect here, you know, um... Just being able to help out or whatever, whether you're trying to find your way into your, your, you know, your purpose or trying to understand why certain things has happened. I've helped so many people that way. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential and I would love to be able to help out like that. Just please reach out to me. Um, if I have not responded to your email, like I said, it's been, you know, I've been so dipped in so many different things that I've been trying to do and I've been having to, you know, recharge myself. So if I have not responded to you, I do apologize, but that's why I said I try to go ahead and give a, a shout out to you if I, I came across your email, um, if I haven't responded to you. But um, just basically, you know, just being able to connect with you. If you, you enjoy podcasts, I also have those on there as well on my community section of my page. I mean, on my page of my channel. You know, I have those on there with, you know, a lot of different posts where it's something to make you laugh. It's like, you know, empath memes or just a food for thought, friendly reminder or things just to wake up and just, you know, hey, you're going through this. You're going through that. You know, it's okay. You know, so just giving you an uplift and stuff like that. You'd be able to know, hey, we're all going through it you know just to get to it you know just being able to know i can share my thoughts and what uplifts me that hopefully can empower and uplift you is doing the same and as well as i i put up um share different instagram uh shorts that i find that is really entertaining or just like it's a prayer or you know just to center yourself even you know short meditations i love putting that on there just to help other people as well so you know please go ahead and check that out on that section as well um, and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. Uh, if whatever you're trying to uh, bring into fruition, whatever vibrations you're needing, you know, I'm sending all that times a million times full, 20 million times full. You know, if it's being consistent, staying focused, you know, having that confidence, I'm sending that towards your way. Please stay persistent and consistent, dedicated to, you know, be, be, be on your stuff you know stay woke never stay sleep on yourself you know you know uh universe is really providing you with so many different things that you know is really gonna allow you to move forward so you know the devil and them always be trying to convince you your dreams are too big or there's no way possible these can happen because you really truly got the light and potential to really make those things happen your purpose is needed your what what you do really matters to the world it really needs that so keep on going um you know uh whatever else is it what is it Ugh. what is it i forgot what i was gonna say oh yeah uh even through social distancing please make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequency those are really truly needed uh especially right now you know going through all the social distancing and everything that's happening out here with the pandemic and all that stuff so please keep sending that thing you know those things especially if you're doing it with no you know no uh intentions or motives you know those things gonna take you even further whatever you're going through this week i'm sending so much love consistency you know uplift and and positivity towards your abundance of prosperity whatever you're trying to reach you know hey i'm sending that towards you throughout the week you know and just being able to help you out this week is almost over got one more day before it's the weekend i can't believe it's almost a weekend it just went by fast so much love god bless shalom i say uh namaste peace